Well, it's time for us to uh, bring you uh, the, the way, the usual way that we wrap our show on a Friday, and that's to bring you a spot of music to connect with uh, South African artists and to give them an opportunity to kind of share with us what the latest is. In spite of COVID, many have been busy, as we've seen over the past couple of weeks. And today's artist is no different. He has been busy. He's got a brand new album out. In fact, an international collaboration that is the one and only Vota Kellerman, um, Sama winner. Grammy Award winner. Uh, he's just a multi-award winner with nine albums under his belt. Um, and of course, live performances, sold out stages in different parts of the world. And there is, there seems to be this uh, um, desire to collaborate with him from different parts of the world. And I think that is why we're seeing this collaboration on an album called Pangea with a multi-instrumentalist and four-time Grammy nominee, David Ackerstone. And now we're joined by Vota Kalaman in the early hours of the morning. I see, I hear you're in Los Angeles, Vota. How are you doing? Hi, hi, Azania. Actually, I'm in Las Vegas. You're in Vegas. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in Vegas. Uh, that's where I can find work at the moment. So, um, but it, yes, it's um, it's five thirty a.m. Oh, we got and, you up uh, early. You know, it doesn't look like you've had sleep or you've just woken up. You look fresh. Well, well actually, yeah, I've, um, David and I are completely different sides of the spectrum. I I've worked through the night, so I haven't been to sleep yet, and he's just woken up. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, do we have David on? Do we have David on with yeah. us on the on the yeah. meeting? <laughs> yes, he's here. Oh, okay. David, lovely to meet you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having us. Oh, there you are. I can see you you. now. No, I was saying it's lovely to have you at this hour. I know it's it's an inconvenience for both of you, but uh, and you both managed to make it happen. But I think congratulations in order, of course, um, on Pangea. Um, and maybe tell us why you're calling it Pangea, because we can easily denote meaning ourselves. Um, I looked at the trailer and we can see um, the continents that have now, of course, moved apart, kind of going back to uh, together to being Pangea again. So what is it that you wanted? What is the sentiment you wanted to communicate with the music in this album? Vota? Yeah, the the album is themed around Pangea. Uh, you know, it's the super continent that existed before it broke apart, mm-hmm. before the existing continent. So, so the music calls for unity in these two very divided times, as you, uh, as you just mentioned, families are divided over politics and um, people are divided across the world. So we, the Pangea for us is uh, symbolic of a world that stands together and is united. Mm, mm, an important message right now. Um, and yeah. music as a vehicle towards that. Um, David, tell me your, your view on this issue and using your sound, using your abilities and your talents to drive this unity message. Well, I think it's more than just... Um, playing music that that sounds like it could be from different parts of the world i think that that music can be very emotional so uh, i think that's what we tried to infuse it with because that's what connects to people and and when they connect with the music even instrumental music they get uh, some kind of feeling and hopefully that comes through in the melodies we choose and the instrumentation and all that the way we present it Yeah, and I was looking at the work you've been doing over the years, and I'm glad that you touch on it because a lot of your work has not included vocals. So you use the instrumentation to really do the work, to uh, impart the meaning, to impart the the, the, the feeling. What is your philosophy about instrumental instrumentalism or even using instrumental music as part of your storytelling? Well, I think it's, you know, just like in classical music, uh, it's it's an extension of that. Each instrument has a voice and and the way you write a melody for it is a is a way to express something. And it can be it can be so many emotions. So you just use it like a palette. I, I do anyway, like a like, oh, I need some more blue here. OK, well, I need a, a bunch of flutes here or whatever it is. Uh, strings are very emotional and mm. You know, then you bring in percussion, and then and then you you're entering the realm of dance, 
and and things like that. So you just try, on this album, I think we just tried to combine a bunch of pieces that we had so that it would make a, a cohesive whole as as far as following what we thought it should be. Yeah. And actually what's what's true, the instrumental music can convey a much deeper in some ways a much deeper meaning than vocal words can because you can express things that words can't express. It and can some, go beyond words. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. And that's uh, that's kind of where we're going with it. Yeah. Plus with instrumental music you you and not vocal music you have the option of the listener putting their own stamp on what they're hearing instead of you're telling them to be in love with that person or you're telling them i broke up with that person or whatever i'm singing about the sun whatever you 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 make a a, a bed of music and they project what it does for them mm -hmm. and i've seen that over the years it's very exciting so I read somewhere that the two of you have been working together on this for two years. <laughs> That's quite a while. Um, and that you, like you were doing this from different locations, from different sites. Um, and you've managed to obviously create the seamless album. Um, I listened to the music and it is literally as if you, you're in the same, in the same place. Um, how testing was that? Or did you find that it was, an, it was something that was easily, easy to overcome? Well, yes, it's very, it's very challenging to work like that. Uh, we started um, uh, uh, the, the main work we started beginning last year as, Pangea, you know, as, the, as the pandemic started and we were both stuck home. And um, so we started working, sending each other files. And obviously it's much easier if you're together because you could immediately respond to the other, other person's input, but this takes much longer. And so it's, it's, it was very challenging, but also uh, it brings another kind of energy that you wouldn't have, you know, um, because before you put your input, before you add your input, you have a lot more time to think and process. So it, it's kind of a, a, a two way thing. It's harder in one way and, and in some ways it's beneficial. Yeah. Yeah. So, Agreed. David, how did you meet our voter Kellerman? Where did you where did you first encounter him? Uh, I think I think I've I've known about him for a while, of course, and then uh, I think he reached out, wondering if we should do a project together, and and I had some music that because uh, I constantly write music, and I had music that really had no home, and and presented it to him, and that's that's what started it, I think, and then we worked together as as you know in in two two time zones extremely different time zones yeah. which i i wanted to add that that was a little bit exciting because when you're one-on-one -on -one and you're in the same room that's one kind of collaboration but then to wake up and you look in your inbox and there's a bunch of files on music you're working on it's kind of exciting it's a little gift each day <laughs> So that was kind of fun. And then I finally met Voter uh, when we did our videos. We started to shoot some videos. Mm. So. Mm. Yes, in different uh, beautiful locations, really wild, beautiful settings. Uh, that, 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 that was actually a visual treat. Very nice to see. Um, so what is the plan? What's the vision for the album? Um, Voter, you're saying you're working in Las Vegas. So what does that mean for being able to get out there and be able to promote it. Um, yes, yeah, so we we um, I, I flew all the way to LA um, to meet um, and and we did this whole album only having met online. And we've been talking for a while um, on Facebook, and uh, so we actually only met um, and we we both drove down to Orange County and found some nice locations there to shoot. Um, but yeah, now it's the uh, the promotional side of the the coin. So we've just today released our first music video uh, called Desert Moon on YouTube. Nice. It went live an hour ago, <laughs> and um, you know, and people consume music visually these days. So the the kind of music video aspect is a very important part of the whole promotional process. Uh, and our, our goal at the moment, because we are incredibly happy with the music and how it's all turned out and the pandem pandemic has actually added because we had more time than you would usually have to make this music so we this is probably uh, some of the best work um, that i've ever 
ever done. And so the, the goal now is just to make sure it gets out there and it gets heard. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we, that's what we're busy with at the moment. Yes. And all of the best with that. Really, we're going to play um, some of your music uh, after we take a break. So uh, are you now ending your day, voters? Are you going to bed now? And for you, David, starting your day? I might go back to sleep for a little while. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and have a late start. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to sleep now and I'll wake up around uh, in a few hours and start my day. And you're ready. Are you having a show um, for your Friday on Friday? Yes, yes. Um, There's a show so lined up. Is, yeah, the, you know, the pandemic has been so hard for us musicians, especially those of us who earn money through live performing, which is in my case, I make, usually make 80% of my income through live performing. Mm. So it's been really hard. And now we've just um, started our the, the opportunities. We just went to Dubai to perform over there at the um, Expo. Dubai Expo. Yes. Yeah. And uh, that was beautiful. And now it's, it's really nice. The U.S. is open for business. Uh, Las Vegas is busy than more busy. I asked, I asked the taxi driver today. He says it's busier here now than it was before the pandemic. Wow. So this is a good place to be to be working and to to earn some money to catch up on all those months of lost income. Yes. Well, we wish all of you, both of you, all of the best and just all the success with Pangea. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having us. Thank you. And that was uh, David Ackerstone as well as Vota Kellerman joining us um, as we are about to play the music, their music on 702 Unplugged.
Go away.